that's definitely a, he's huge. I know I left them here somewhere. Here they are. Ah. Yeah, we need these. Y'all, welcome on back to the channel. Trophy buck hunting. That's what we're attempting to do at the least. So I've already taken uh, two of my coal bucks. One I took with my bow. The other one I let my dad shoot. And so I've got one buck tag left. And I had a really good sit this morning. That was the last video. And uh, as you guys can see, I mean, there's little bucks everywhere. And they're responding to, to rattles and and everything like that but y'all we went out mid-morning did a little rattling and it was epic man i mean they were coming in check this out That was some fun times right there, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more action like that. One million subs coming up sometime in the near future. Hopefully, if you subscribe and tell all your buddies. And then we've got a, a new, a couple of new stands that I just checked today. And this is why I'm excited because um, these are fresh, like fresh cameras have just been put out there. There's a couple of a couple of helmets walking around out there and there's one in particular that I'm gonna try to hunt uh, tonight. Where's this at? This is at the highway. He looks a little young, eh? He does look a little young. I couldn't get a good shot of the body, but dude, this is the deer that I'm, I thought was coming to Gordo. That's the eight point that I wanna shoot. Where's that at? That was at seven point when you were with me, but he, I, I spotted him at Gordo a while back. I don't know, he's been unseen. Yeah, somebody. I don't know. This guy right here. That's the tall eight. No, it's not. Dang. That's a ten. That's a bruiser. That that's chub. Okay, where's that at? Look at the chub neck, bro. Where's that at? That's... You're holding back on me. No, oh, I'm not. The, that's, that's where the Judd's at. That's at the pond. Yeah. What do we call that? The pond. The pond. The duck pond. Yeah, are you gonna sit where are you I, sitting? See, I I don't know. So here's the big thing about today's video. We got weird winds, you know? This is a place that no one's hardly hunted. It's set up with an old rifle blind. And just to give myself a good challenge here and try this tactic with using a burlap covering. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is take the burlap, it's camouflaged, and I'm gonna try to drape it around uh, some mesquites and some little sage bushes, cactus and stuff. 
that's low to the ground and try to get like 30 yards and sit behind that and that is going to be our cover there's not going to be a traditional blind uh, there's you know we're not we're not going to be anything like that we're just going to use this right here and this buck is really coming in in the morning so i think he's definitely going to be there in the morning we might get a shot but we're going to go ahead and try tonight and get it kind of set up get the feel i'm also going to be running that ozonics machine we're going to spray down uh, we'll try to eliminate the scent as much as possible. We'll be putting out uh, some sugar beet crush and try to get a lane for myself. You know, I've been kind of waiting to see a deer where I'm like, yes, that's the one. And that's what I said to see. I'm like, yes, for sure. Shooter, big. You said, got him down your shoulder like a bulldog. So, y'all, we're doing ground and pound up close and personal and hopefully getting a trophy buck. But either way, it's fun getting after him on the ground with a bow, man. Do the sprays. I'm gonna hit the back. Dude, give me a little something back there. Give me a little something on that. That's where they really get you. It's on that rear snit scent. Dead down wind. Appreciate you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this stuff. Main thing is, if y'all are concerned about wind, just play the wind. But there's times, like right now, where it's just totally crummy and there's not much you can do so doing everything I can try to get this buck so we're gonna take zip ties we're gonna take paracord whatever we got to do to get this thing up it's gonna take us a little bit so we're gonna go ahead out there let's go set up and let's get this buck
this one. We're back. So to, to a good hunt. Best sit of the season so far here at the least goes to. Dude, I think I think the best sit of my past couple of years. Really? Yeah, just like intensity wise and amount of action. Bump. Mm -hmm. Mullet man. I saw the giant. He did come in. Didn't give me an opportunity. You're telling me forget about this deer and go hunt Gordo. Yep. Pull yours Put up ten. first. Okay. So we can see. Here's your battery. The thing about this deer though, he's coming to corn. Lake, he's not a ruddy. The lake life deer. The lake life deer. I would be, uh, I did, I get the heart palpitations on this deer, I will tell you. Okay. You're saying you got heart palpitations on this other deer. But it's been, it's been a minute since I've got the palpitations. palpitations. Not since Is it first my dad clip, second clip? What? You're <laughs> scoffing? You're scoffing at that deer. Just wait. That is a good deer though, I'd shoot him for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's a good deer. Come on. Trophy out here, a hundred percent. Yeah, he's bigger than I thought he was gonna be. Okay, you got something better. I just hope the camera caught it, like my eyes saw it. And why didn't you shoot this deer? Everyone's wondering. Uh, he, I was shooting with the recurve, and he stayed at the feeder the whole time. And I didn't have a window that I was comfortable with, so I just let him walk. Okay, didn't want to risk it on the recurve action. All right, okay. All right, let's look at some other deer. I and saw you've got to go in the morning. This is why you're telling me, hey. Let's go here. I know everyone's wondering. Alright, so this is him chasing a doe about 30 minutes after he left the feeder. Um, he left for about 10 minutes. Oh, oh my. Oh, he's got an extra that oh I didn't my. see. Oh my. Wait till you see this. Do you think he's four? He, I wish I could say he was older, but he's gonna get shot. He's That's gonna... the only thing that sucks. Dude, that deer looks young. And he's a magnet. Look at his brow tine. Got the kicker off the G2. Oh, yeah. We have not seen this deer. And the kicker off this side, too. Where the heck did he So he has from? a kick. He broke that one off. But he has a kicker off of both G2s. A kicker on the brow tine. And then... Wow. Like, he's real narrow. He's not like some big frame deer. But he's tall. And he has a bunch of crap going on. And we don't see that out here. I'm telling you this around. deer looked 100 times bigger when you were sitting in this <sighs> Are you getting some ground shrinkage, some video shrinkage right now? No. I mean, let's put, uh, come on. Some fights? I think the I think those two deer are close. Oh man, you got fights, dude. That, yeah, they are close. That is awesome. But I think I'd shoot him over. <sighs> even though he's, God, it's just like the question is: Is he even going to make it another year? That's the question. Not out here. I mean, if nobody were to shoot him, yeah, you make it. But <sighs> I've got a very tough decision. So some of y'all out there, this might just sound stupid of us even arguing about this. A lot of hunters that hunt public land, I mean, that's a 100% no question. Or maybe you have like, you know, a couple of hundred acres. What we're at is like over 2,000 acres. So there is the chance that those deer will stay here. It's not like a high fence where you know like, oh yeah, let that deer go. You know, he'll be an absolute mega trophy next year. This is different. That's what we have to decide here on this lease. Is like, man, we've never seen this deer. He probably came from the other property. Uh, should we shoot him now, even though he's probably a year immature? That's the tough question. Or he's lived here and he's just now showing himself because they're right, you never know. If I go sit where Mike's at, I bet we, and I've got the chance of seeing the other palmated 10 yeah. And that I nine, that, that mega this nine. This might have been him. We kept, I'm telling you, dude, if you saw this thing in person when he walked in, you'd be like, oh my. I don't know what to do now. I've got the blind already set up. The fact that he didn't come in this evening and he just kind of milled the area, it just makes me feel like he will come in. But it's a 30 yard shot at the least. Or if he just, he's walking that corner and I can just bop, bop him real quick, 30 yards, I feel really comfortable with that. I don't know what to do, man. I'm kind of nervous right now. All right. Like, if mega you want, bucks. if you like, I didn't even look at his body. Dude, you're not helping. Just... We're gonna make a decision here. 
Just a minute, I need to think. Obviously, let me know in the comments what you guys would do. Burlap sheets, like it's pretty, yeah, it's a risky kind of deal. Uh, hunting on the ground like that with literally you could have deer walk up right next to you and blow out and screw the whole thing up or get up in a tree and got the chance at seeing three trophies that have been coming there. While I'm sitting here eating this honey bun, I'm making my decision now. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go hunt the pond deer. I have a connection with that deer now. I've seen it, I've filmed it, uh, I've been 25 yards from it. Another reason is, as soon as I saw the deer in pictures, I went, yep. And I feel confident that I could go sit in that box blind, and in fact, last night I could have sat in the box blind 100 yards away and I could have killed that deer. But for me, much more satisfying to try to set up this scenario with the burlap, get some sort of blind, uh, and try to hunt that deer closer with a bow i just i have it out for this mondo 100 percent mature deer bow up close on the ground can't beat it y'all so let's go make it happen Not happening, guys. We blew it. Well, y'all, we did not close the deal, but honestly, I'm not really that disappointed. Um, it was a risky move going in there on the ground, just using the burlap sheet. You know, I noticed when that first deer came in, it was dark, you guys couldn't even hardly see, but uh, he just wasn't comfortable. And then the bigger deer, what is known now as the pond deer, the blind is just behind this pond. He came in, he saw the other deer, and then, you know, watched him, and he, I mean, he came right in, but then, the cat, there was a cow that came in and then me being on the ground uh, having to kind of peek, you know, peek up. I had to lean in that little chair and when I was leaning, uh, the chair creaked. That's what kind of gave me away. 
Uh, the deer never looked at me. He just heard that and spooked and ran. And I think the other buck at first might have smelled me. There seemed to be um, a scent factor going on because even the does, the two does that I saw, they, they just never really got comfortable. So could have hunted out of the box blind, got the deer. But like I said, it's, it was much more fun to build that little blind on the ground and have that challenge. And I would have considered that uh, a nice trophy if I would have gotten the deer having set on the ground and, and done the work and um, had a game plan like that. But I had an awesome time out here uh, from rattling in box to seeing uh, our first real trophy box up close, me and Mike. Oh my gosh, look at this duck right here. Wabam! It is duck season too. Okay. I, I did bring my shotgun, but I did not want to disturb the woods since Big Pond Deer is, is right back there. It's a beautiful time to be in the outdoors, y'all. So if you're not doing it, get out there, enjoy you some, and good luck in all of your adventures out there. God bless you. We'll see you soon.